Welcome back, everybody. Listen, February is heart month, and it's important to remember to take care of yours. So in that vein, we are with Dr. Vijay Iyer this morning, an interventional cardiologist with Great Lakes Cardiovascular, and we're here at the Gates Vascular Institute. Good morning, doctor. Nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Maybe you can tell us what interventional cardiology is. Interventional cardiology is a subspecialty of general cardiology. It basically involves physicians who are specialized in catheter-based techniques mm -hmm. aimed at both diagnosing and treating uh, heart disease. What specific types of issues can you help treat? Uh, interventional cardiologists typically deal with blockages in the heart arteries, leg arteries. They also deal now in this day and age with valvular heart disease and percutaneous methods to treat them. And I understand these are pretty minimally invasive uh, procedures. That is correct. Uh, interventional cardiologists do most of their uh, catheter-based work through tiny catheters that go through blood vessels either in the wrist or in the groin. Even the catheter-based approaches are uh, approaches that for valvular heart disease, for example, are non-invasive, meaning that they don't involve any surgical cutting. Uh, they're mostly percutaneous or minimally invasive. And doctor, that's really great news for people who may have not been thought of as a good candidate for uh, heart surgery. That is correct. Uh, the uh, advent of a lot of these techniques came up because we have a large number of patients who cannot uh, act access cardiac surgery because of age, morbidity, etc. But by the same token, techniques have advanced to the point where we now know that these minimally invasive techniques are probably as good as some of the surgical techniques. And we're talking about terms like TAVAR, the watchman procedure, uh, the microchip, things like this. Uh, the TAVAR is a, a way of replacing somebody's aortic valve without opening their chest. It is now uh, uniquely available in pretty much all over this country. We have done in excess of 750 cases here. Uh, the mitral clip is a way of repairing somebody's mitral valve, again, without opening their chest. And the watchman device is a device that is used for those people who have atrial fibrillation, but are unable to take a blood thinner to prevent the risk of stroke. Doctor, for people who think that they might be a candidate for this, do they need to go to their uh, primary physician before they come and see you and get a referral? That is correct. Typically, the uh, patients will talk to their primary care physicians and their primary care physicians will either refer them to the general cardiologist or directly to an international cardiologist depending upon the problem. Well, we're going to thank Dr. Vijay Iyer this morning. Incredible information, information that could save your life and certainly improve the quality of your, li of your life. Like we say, February is heart month. Please make sure to take care of yours. Information coming up on the screen. Thank you so much.